what's up, world? It's Not Squared, a.k.a. Uncle Knock, a.k.a. UK for ADSR. How are you doing today? If you're a machine user, I know you're doing good because the update has finally dropped. And I like to call this update a taste teaser. That's my own personal opinion of it. It's a taste teaser. It's a great update. But it's one of those things you get somebody a little taste. Hey, taste this. They're like, oh, that's good. Let me get some more. Not yet. The full course is coming, baby. But it's a good indication that things are about to be crazy. And according to Native Instruments, right on their site, I'm going to let you read this with me. This is Native Instruments right on the forum. Further down the line, this update defines the shape of things to come for machine in 2020. We will be focusing on features that enable you to use pattern scenes and the song view timeline in more flexible ways and working towards extended and improved arrangement features in machine. And this also, our ultimate goal is to get to the point where you can produce tracks start to finish. Boom, drop the mic. That's all I need to read right there. When I read that, I got chills, baby. Because I've been using machines since 2009, and I've been waiting to be able to do tracks from start to finish easily. And I think that's where Native Instruments is going. According to this, it's about to get crazy. And that's coming from the source itself. All right? So, with that being said, what are the new features in the update, which is 2.10 or 2.10, if I didn't say that already, whichever one you want to call it, it's a new update. We have auto-growing patterns. We got pattern start position, and we have pattern play position indicator that is right here on the hardware. Now, all of these things kind of tie in together. Basically, in a nutshell, uh, you don't have to pretty much set the pattern or, or bars beforehand. You could just get live with it. Okay, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to record something, and you're going to see on the screen that it's going to continue to actually extend the sequence out as long as I go. Let me just hit this. Uh. Ooh. See it? Now you say, knock you going on forever. That's because I could do it. Now let me hit shift and quantize. You see, I messed up the first part, right? I was like, man, that's trash. I need to do this over. Nah, I don't need to do it over because when I hit the pattern button, you go hit that pattern button, boom, and just adjust the start. I can get right past that. Or I can go anywhere further in. This is the pattern start position. And go to the end. I could drag this. We can move freely anywhere within the pattern. Like I can go right here to the end where I started to get freaky with it. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. And I'll end it right here. So that's it right there. Now this is where the pattern will start. And since we're getting live with it, notice it's right here. This is the pattern play position indicator. The PPP indicator. Y'all use that. Let you know exactly where you are in the pattern. I'm like, there it goes. There it goes. Stop. I love it. See how all, these all tie in together. They all tie in together. I, I love that. So this is like a taste test or a taste teaser. And definitely usable. I, I love it. I'm, I, hey, this, this right here is big, especially the auto-growing patterns. Because, you know, you don't have to set up. Just start going and then place it wherever you want to. Mm, getting chills, baby. All right. So look, one thing I want to tell you before we roll out of here. Uh, one thing I did notice, and now, you know, it's a new update, just came out, so I haven't figured it out yet, or maybe it just doesn't work like that, but say you're going to go to a new pattern, so we go to this pattern right here, pattern two, now you notice it says auto, that means when you start, it's just going to go ahead and, and keep roll, growing for you, as long as you go, so say, now nah, I don't want to do auto, I'm going to do, I'm going to make this one four bars, you have the option to still go back to the way it was, but then you say, nah, wait a minute, I want to use the auto, let me go back. Wait a minute. It's not 
It won't go back to one. Let me go this way. No, I ain't going that way. It's not. Well, I want to go back to auto. It's only going back to one. Now, I'm like, okay, what do you hit to make it get back in auto? What I hit is delete and hit the pad again. Now you're back at auto. Just keep it simple. If you're trying to figure that out, I didn't find it anywhere on here. I don't know if that's if that's going to if that's included or whatever. But I just want to give you guys a workaround if you run into that, you know, which I'm sure you will because I did it myself. I was like, wait a minute, I, I'm okay. I'll, let me set it to go four bars. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Or why can't I get back? Well, delete. So keep it simple like that. So that is 2.10, 2.10, the update for machine. It's a good time. Things are about to get crazy. The start to finish thing has got me it, it getting chills. So look out for it. Look out for more videos. Machine is about to get crazy. I, I just, I know I keep saying it. I'm excited about it. So excited. So excited. Machine World United. That's all y'all get. I will check you out next time. Knock Squid, a.k.a. Uncle Knock for ADSR. Be safe. Wash your hands. Love your family. See you next time.